Another sticky bun, please, Mr. Gaines. Wit another one? Damn. Hey, you mind your beeswax, skinny. Now, Whitney, now no one has ever eaten four sticky buns at one setting. Your insides are allowed to stick together. Well, I have to take that risk, Mr. Gaines. I need the sugar to keep up with those pint-sized hip-hop and trolls I call my pupils. Oh, a school out for the day? It's supposed to be, but I'm overseeing the little darlings paint this mural entitled African American Heroes on the Cafeteria Wall. Oh, well, who have they painted so far? Well, we have uh, Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, and Halle Berry. <laughs> they all look exactly alike. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, Miss Wayne. How you doing, Terrell? I heard about that awful incident. I just cannot imagine you and poor little Charmaine being run off the road like that by four pickup trucks full of, of rifle-wielding inbred hillbillies. So awful. Four trucks? Who told you about this dueling banjo story? <laughs> now, you know she is a human fax machine. Well, she needs to get her facts straight. Oh, don't even worry about it. You can't put a bottle cap on a volcano. <laughs> How is little Charmaine? She's all right. Yeah, she's down at the police station filing a report. Well, uh -huh. good. I've seen this kind of thing happen my whole life, unreported, and it's got to change. Right. Nah. Now, what's got to change is our approach. From now on, I'm practicing what Brother Malcolm called vigorous action and self-defense. <laughs> Dr. King, any Negro who teaches other Negroes to turn the other cheek in the face of attack is disarming that Negro of his God-given right, of his moral right, of his natural right, of his intelligent right to defend himself. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. His dream is a nightmare. He's too dumb to know it. <laughs> who are you calling dumb, slob? You're the one who leave wet towels all over the bathroom floor. <laughs> well, at least I don't keep tabs of how many paper clips my roommate borrows, you cheap little... No, uh, ladies, uh, ladies. Dean Davenport, I take offense to anyone who calls Martin Luther King dumb. That happens to be a quote Malcolm made about Martin after the march on Washington. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Corrected. All right, all right. Sit corrected. <laughs> or you girls will be on my list. <laughs> what really happened, right? They rolled down the hill about 50 feet, right? Over mud and broken glass and stuff, right? And then you saw all these nine millimeter shots. Connie, <laughs> it's a wonder they're alive right now. Mr. Walker, Mr. Haywood. Amaze me. Oh, here, Terrell, this is the same kind of jacket they wore in the 60s, man. And it smells like it ain't been washed since. <laughs> I ain't wearing that. I find it hard to believe Dr. Martin Luther King and Brother Malcolm would be in conflict over that wardrobe. I'll put on the stinking jacket. <laughs> Class, you are dismissed. We will continue next time. Gentlemen, please remain. Uh, Dean, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make a big deal out of the jacket. I was... The jacket is not the problem, Dorian. This is the problem. Come on, Dean. The gun's not even loaded. Why do you have this gun? Sometimes you gotta watch your back. But you wouldn't understand that, right? What I understand is that we have metal detectors in our elementary schools to prevent our children from being shocked. What you don't understand, Mr. What you don't understand, Mr. Walker, is this gun just got you expelled. Ex expelled? What? Damn, man, what did you... Terrell, man, what were you thinking, man? Look, man, you aren't the one who had to run like a punk, all right? I want to be able to stand up for a woman, man. Even if it is Charmaine. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell the dean that? And what's that gonna get me? Well, what's a gun gonna get you? Respect. You don't get respect for pointing guns at people. Yeah, well, you don't get respect by running away either. 